Hi everyone. The impassioned conversations we're having as a nation and a community are continuing. News about the election, the transition of presidential power, COVID and vaccines. Those are just some of the topics that are dominating headlines and our social media feeds these days. Intellectually, these conversations and debates can be healthy, but the challenge is finding the space to have these conversations without talking past each other or worse, creating an environment that breeds fear and contempt. And the chance that we end up in the middle of one of these conversations in the coming days is of course very high. Responding quickly and emotionally without taking time to listen and process the messages that others are delivering, especially when we disagree, is tempting. But if we are able to move forward, we have to create space for different voices, other perspectives, and meaningful conversation. Now more than at any time in recent memory, it is a time to listen, really listen to what others are saying. Speaking up takes a lot of courage. Sometimes listening quietly takes even more. Our country is at a crossroads. The instinct is to push strongly for your position and push back even harder against those who may disagree, to talk over and past each other as if volume makes the point somehow more valid. But one of the things that sets Spokane apart is our willingness to take a different path. We have chosen to work together, to engage in dialogue, to find compromise, even if it's sometimes a little bumpy. We have the opportunity to set an example once again.